The Dutch are known for their different variety of sweets, such as pancakes and puffetjes. And of course, the variety of fry snacks, like frikandel, croquette, Vlaamse friet, and kibbeling. Students usually don't have time to cook, so most of them consume unhealthy fast food. Although there's a variety of restaurants available on campuses, much of them are still not as healthy as we would like them to be. Many students don't mind the way Dutch food tastes like and really enjoy eating it. I actually do like Dutch food, but as like a snack or some cravings that you might have, you know, in the middle of the week, not as like a food food thingy. Although Eliona likes to eat Dutch food, she does miss her home food but it's rather hard to find Russian food in Rotterdam. When it comes to certain uh, foods which include the dairy product like Tvarog, you can't find it. Here you can find it in like a Russian shop around the block, but it's so much more expensive than in Russia. So it's like, it's sad because I can't cook so many stuff with it. But there are still some students that don't like the Dutch fried food and snacks. Yang is one of many other international students that does not enjoy eating Dutch food. I, although I've spent some time living here, I still don't get used to the uh, Dutch food. Uh, typical Dutch street food like croquetta is basically you mashed everything in covered flour and you fry it. So I find it like really unhealthy to eat fried food all the day. And um, another thing is, I don't think Dutch food has a lot of varieties. Um, well, for me, Dutch food is basically neither mash the hell out of something, or boil the hell out of something, or deep fry the hell out of something. Same with Young, Sarah does not like Dutch food. Well, it doesn't always taste that good. It lacks salt and all other ingredients that I'm used to. The other foods, the and the dishes, the potato dishes and stuff, well, they're just not what I'm used to. I like my Surinamese food. I like my Surinamese dishes more because they remind me of home. Well, they're not all hard to find, but they're mostly expensive. We pay like twice what we buy them for in Suriname, and it's very expensive. So. It's not something I can do often. There is a Suriname shop right next to my house and that's where I buy most of my stuff. I, there's a restaurant in The Hague that I like going to. They actually make real, serve real food, real Surinamese food. But um, it's far and uh, it's expensive so I don't often eat there. Uh, cooking Surinamese dishes is often a little difficult in the, in the Netherlands because you need to combine Dutch um, products with Surinamese ingredients because you can't always find the Surinamese, Surinamese ingredients in uh, here uh, because it's often too expensive and you get, get you can find some other type of wannabe Surinamese product. To make nasi, Sarah needs a few ingredients which she brought home from a recent trip to Suriname because it is cheaper and it tastes more authentic. So we can see international students have a hard time dealing with Dutch food. And if these students want to cook dishes from their home country, they have to adjust these recipes or make extra costs. Although some international products are available in local stores, they're usually adjusted to the Dutch taste.